The Honorable Member for Cape Breton Center. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Health. Minister Delory, will you please attend the meet? Oh. Order, please. Like to remind the honourable member not to refer to members opposite by their proper name. The honourable member for Cape Breton Centre. Will the honourable minister please attend the meeting on October 14th in New Waterford? I sincerely plead with you to come. The honourable minister of health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as the member uh, would know, the uh, the concerns uh, being raised uh, by her uh, her community, uh, we're certainly uh, well aware of. Uh, the member has, has brought them to the floor of the legislature, uh, as well as uh, our colleague uh, in uh, North, North North Side Westmount, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we understand the the concerns uh, of the uh, the people in in the communities of. Uh, of, of uh, Cape Breton, uh, but I assure the member that we uh, have as our first priority the care and the health care needs of their community and their citizens, uh, Mr. Speaker, indeed uh, for all of Cape Breton. That's why we're investing in new primary health care uh, centres, Mr. Speaker. We're expanding our long-term care services. We're expanding our emergency room uh, services, Mr. Speaker. So we're doing all of these things on behalf of those residents. The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Once again, and finally, I will ask, will the honourable member please, please, please attend the meeting and listen to the concerns of the constituents in Cape Breton Centre and Cape Breton? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Again, uh, in terms of, uh, as we announced uh, back in June, uh, when we uh, advised the uh, communities and all Nova Scotians what the, uh, the plans are uh, for moving forward, the investment in new infrastructure, we identified that the next stage, Mr. Speaker, which has begun, is the functional planning. We have uh, representatives out there, Mr. Speaker, engaging with frontline health care workers to identify exactly how these investments are best distributed to achieve the care needed in these communities. Order, please.